From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live at 3. Welcome back. Kyle, a composer and associate professor with UT Tyler, is here to tell us about his latest project called Great Iron Symphony. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. It's yeah. excellent. You know, so yeah. how did you come up with this idea for your project? Yeah, well, I really can't take credit for the idea. Uh, it, that, that credit goes to Richard Lee, the conductor of the East Texas Symphony Orchestra, who called me up several, several months ago and said, hey, I've got this idea for a symphony project that that helps tell the story about East Texas high school football culture. What do you think? You want to write this piece of music? And so, yeah, it's really, a, it's all up to him. Yes, yeah. sir. Because, you know, everybody in East Texas loves them some football. That's you know? what I hear. <laughs> you know, I'm not from around here. I'm from South Dakota originally, oh, but I've, I've been here since 2011. So I've been here long enough to, to catch a few games and to get a little bit about the hype. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, since you, you know, you're not from here, you had to, you know, catch up on. So how did you get kind of started on this project, getting to work on it? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, so it was kind of like making a documentary, right? You can't really tell the story until you know the story. And you can't know the story until you know the people involved, the places involved, the history history and so um, you know I, I for the first several months I didn't write a single note and I just got to know people right I, I talked to some of the coaches uh, some of the former players uh, got to meet a couple of the folks on the famous uh, 94 Lions team uh, mm -hmm. and, and got to you know uh, have conversations with them so that was that was really fantastic and they they brought me up to speed a little bit on what I've been missing out on yes sir and so we heard that there's gonna be some public high schools that are gonna be helping out with this production can you tell me a little bit about that yeah yeah, so, so the ETSO is a professional symphony orchestra and they play several concerts a year and this is uh, a really rare opportunity that we're going to get to have uh, both of the local public high schools, uh, Tyler High School and Legacy, are going to loan us some of their uh, marching band students to help fill out uh, por select portions of the, of the composition. I thought, you know, you can't really do a piece about football and music without some marching band, right? And so, yeah, they're gonna get involved with that. We're, we're really excited about that. Now, what does it mean to be able to, you know, add some of these high school kids in there to give them this opportunity? Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be uh, great for us, uh, for the symphony to, to be able to uh, supplement what we're doing to help tell that story. But I think it'll, hopefully it'll also be really great for, for those students, um, as well as the community to be able to see kind of those two worlds come together uh, at the same time. Yes, sir. So how can people experience this concert? Yeah, well, they should show up to the Cowan Center at UT Tyler on Saturday, March 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Uh, they can get tickets at the Cowan Center box office, the Cowan Center uh, uh, website, or going to ETSO.org and click buy tickets. Yes, sir. You know, what do you hope people take away from this, you know, symphony? Yeah, well, great question. It, it, it's got a lot to offer, you know. Uh, it's got fight songs, it's got school hymns, uh, it's got a love ballad that's about like the emotional response people have to the nostalgia of playing or attending, um, and it's got a big finale. Uh, and so it's got something for everyone. I hope people uh, come away from this concert just feeling excited and honored, honestly. The, the people who think football is part of their identity and high school football in particular right it's different from college it's different yeah. from pro right it's a different thing and i hope the people who know something about that culture can see themselves reflected in the music and in the the narration uh, i didn't even get to talk about that yet uh, uh, just really quickly uh bill coates uh who's oh, the yeah. news director over at ktbb he's going to be our, our narrator oh. for the piece it's 26 minutes long and he talks through almost half of it uh telling the story of these two fictional teams uh, that, that that i'm setting so i'm just so excited about about it and hopefully people get to see themselves up on, on stage, whether they're a, a former player or a coach or uh, just a, a, a proud family member. Yes, sir. Thank you so yeah. much for telling us about that. If you want more information or you want to get some tickets, you can go to the website right here on your screen.